Glad you did. That's why it is so important that you groups, who are leaders in your community, can keep things together so when the, the stuff does hit the fan, that you can hold things together. Now hopefully, you know, we've got to be optimistic about this. I mean, hopefully we'll get through 2014, get to 2016, without any major mishaps. But it could happen. Anything could. The, economic could, the economy could melt down tomorrow. We don't, we don't know. But all I know is, if you keep fighting, and you keep going, and you hold together, you've got a chance. You know, it might be, there's no guarantees here man, at all. But I think there is hope for this country. And it's, there was no, there was, there was no hope in the first American Revolution. Mm. Nobody, it was, it's crazy that they won that. But you know there was something more to it. You know, and, and if I thought this was just a mechanistic, a mechanistic world that was just, you know, bodies moving against bodies, I would give up. But I know there's a lot more than that. You know, there really is. Thank you. Um, man over there. You mentioned Ohio and the SEIU. During the 2012 election, I heard on the news that Romney had, my numbers may be wrong, but roughly 20 some odd offices in Ohio. Obama had almost twice as many. Yeah. And my first reaction was, well, why doesn't Romney open it? What I found out later was, Romney had to raise money and pay to open those offices. Obama's offices were paid by the taxpayer through the SEIU. The union supplied the workers, the office space, built into their government contracts are X number of a lot of days for political activities. Yeah, yeah. So we as taxpayers pay the other side to, yeah. to staff their offices against yeah. us. It's it's just it's it's, 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 Most it's, people don't know that. That's that's why I'm so pleased to see so much more right to work around the country. Because the unions are the transmission belt of communism in this country. If there was no unions, we wouldn't have this problem. You know, and you might have looked at unions 30 years ago and said they did this or that, but right now they are agents for evil. And we, you know, every state should be right to work, the whole country should be right to work, and people have got to get out of those. In, anybody who's a patriot now, who's paying union dues, should look at themselves. You don't because have a you, choice. Well, you do have a choice. In that industry, you don't have a choice very often. Taking well, it depends how strong you are and how willing you are to stand up, you know, because I know people, even in the most hardcore industries, who have stood up and basically given them the finger. Because you are you are paying for your own destruction. You're supporting unions today. It's a hardcore reality. Thank you. 